we're in uh, Stratton, Vermont. The skiing is really good, but conditions are hard, and this is a great test for the new ski line because these are the skis, powder skis they carved is the theme of the tour. Well, the ski is designed to be versatile. It's a hybrid ski with camber and side cut underfoot and then reverse camber tip and tail. And what makes our skis um, carve is they'll return to neutral for the next turn. Sure, my name's Dave Litvak from Boston, Mass. Great, it's kind of a rainy day, but the uh, ski hells. I can make some quick turns. It was a lot of fun. It, it feels fluid, it's, it's nice. My name is Rick Goodwin. When I got into the bunker, it was it was excellent. I think it'd be a great AT ski, particularly in the spring around here. It was great. Really good carving, quick, responsive, and uh, very nice turns. I could carve very well and um, had a good edge, and it felt really good. It's Jim Seslovich. I've been skiing at least uh, about probably 50 years now. And I uh, skied a lot of different skis, but these are awesome. They're, today's a real hard pack day. I didn't expect it, but they held great. They were really responsive. They held it. They held a nice carve, and I was able to actually make some really quick turns, which really surprised me. So it's, it's good for everything. The ski is is definitely has a big platform, but it also arced well on the you know these trails up here at Strad. The ski came across nicely and dug in and, and uh, I was able to maneuver it quickly. Uh, Peter Smith, I live in uh, Connecticut right now, but I've lived all over Colorado, California. And for a ski this fat, uh, with a rocker camber, I've never felt anything that's as stable. At high speeds, carving it up on a groomer, uh, nothing's ever come close to this. Uh, uh, you swear it doesn't even have any rocker on it when you're skiing on a groomed trail, but there, it, there is rocker to it, so it's uh, you're getting kind of almost the best of both worlds here. You're going to get some good flow and fat stuff, but it's also going to be really, really stable on a, on a groomed run. So I was very impressed. And it's very light, for that matter. My name is Kevin and I was just skiing on these H2O Kodiaks and I have to tell you I was blown away. I was expecting a fat ski to ski on powder and we just ripped down some really gnarly ice and these stuck to stuck like butter. They were, they were tremendous. They were great. I was I was absolutely blown away by how these turned. The carving was phenomenal. And uh, I'm about to go back up and tell all my patrollers about how well he skied and have them come down and demo that as well. It's good. Um, Busts through anything. When you get it up on edge, it goes. Nice long radius. Um, Busted through anything. Good ski. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm from Long Island. Just skied on these with my dad at Stratton, Vermont. Um, they're like toys. We were saying that we can't really find a ski that carves on ice and it's like the ice doesn't even really exist. We are just working on carving today and talk about carving. I mean, amazing. I want them right now.